tell us what are we yoked to, as I mentioned earlier. You got to learn. Can't be on your own. Now you have to learn from him. Learn of him. What is that? To imbue, saturate, impregnate. Something's got to take place inside when you're learning of him. No, you're not sitting here listening to Apostle Steve Moffat Sunday after Sunday, Wednesday after Wednesday, and just, just, just hearing it in your natural ear. We're not just here to hear it in our natural ear and just get it surface, you know, on a surface. But something begins to get deposited. Every time that word is released, you're learning of him. You're being saturated. You're being impregnated. I like that. To permeate with a feeling or a quality. Or to diffuse, ingrain, inject, inform, charge, low. Wow. It says a feel of quality, the knowledge of Christ. Every time we're learning of him, how much more, how awesome is that, that when you're sitting here in this mere building, I don't know how many square feet or whatever, I know Rudy knows that, how many chairs, the carpet, uh, how many, bath, one bathroom, which some have complained about, um, the <laughs> office, two children's rooms, and all of that. Impregnating, getting 
you ready for birth? Yes. Birthing. So, I said, those things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me, do and the God of peace shall be with you. Proverbs 1 and 5 says, a wise man will hear and will increase learning. I just said about the ear. A man of understanding shall attain wise counsels. It also says in this word, give instruction to a wise man and he will be yet wiser. See, you don't give instruction to a wise man and he get dumb and he drop the ball and he forget about the manner of the life in which he's a part of. And then you got to keep reminding a wise man. Y'all have to keep reminding a wise man. Uh -oh. You say, are you coming to church? We got to call you and we got to look for you. Are you in this thing or are you in this thing? Are you in it or are you in it? <laughs> oh, we got to glue you up inside of it. Glue it up inside of you. Is that going to be our next step? <laughs> well, come on. When you're in it, you're in it. He will, a wise man, I'm telling you, will grow. And be more wiser, yet wiser, when we increase in learning. And this is all voluntarily so. Amen. First Timothy says, 6 and 1, we'll go here now. Let as many bond servants as are under, under the yoke count their own masters worthy of honor, so that the name of God and his doctrine may not be blasphemed. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Let as many bond servants, we're bond servants of Christ. Let as many bond servants as are under the yoke. So if you weren't under it before, get under the word of God so we can infuse it in you and you can get yoked. Mm -hmm. Amen. Count their own masters worthy of all honor so that the name of God and his doctrine may not be blasphemed. Now, so you know, you know, bond servants are your leaders, right? Two. They're leaders. And so this is not some control, you know, mm -hmm. mechanism that, you know, pastors are just controlling folks' lives. They're just running stuff and controlling stuff. Mm -hmm. No. You want your life controlled. Let's just say that. Not, let's not be afraid to say not controlled in the way you think. Control to righteousness. Control in one direction. Control with focus. Control with a single eye. Control that this mind may be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. That's all control. That's control. Oh no, he's controlling me. I'm not going to praise the Lord. That's control. We all praise the Lord. You don't want to be controlled? Oh, he's controlling me. I'm not coming to prayer at uh, 6 o'clock. <laughs> then you'll never learn the language of the kingdom. Yeah. You will never learn the language of the kingdom. So listen, one thing you better understand is if you are not yoked with the Lord and are not bond service to him, then you are definitely yoked to something else, as I said. Yeah. And I can guarantee you are in bondage to it, as I said. Yeah. 